now, Elliot Gerson of the Aspen Institute. Good afternoon, good evening, and wasn't that amazing? Uh, uh, special thanks to the artists, Nadia Hiranaka and Matthew Soub for that clip uh, from their film, Field Companion, which was filmed entirely within a mirror-line terrarium uh, that they had designed themselves. So, absolutely remarkable. We hope that you have been enjoying your last 24 hours plus. Uh, it is so exciting for the Aspen Institute to be engaged in this. When Mayor Gelber and I first talked about this almost exactly a year ago, uh, we had in mind an audience precisely like the one that has been enjoying all of these programs over the last uh, day and a half. Uh, young, diverse, smart, passionate, inclusive, ambitious, and thirsty for solutions. So it is so exciting for this, for us to see how it has developed. We knew that Miami, uh, already a significant global hub of culture and commerce, could be an ideal partner for us to bring our ideas brand uh, away from Colorado and to a location specifically to focus deeply on one of the most important issues any of us ever will face. And uh, all we had to do was combine that idea and vision that the mayor had with the dedication of teams at Aspen, uh, Kitty Boone and her ideas team, and also Greg Gershuni and his climate and energy team, and voila. And we thank all of you for participating in it. And of course, we can't thank again, or too much, uh, our partners and sponsors for making this possible. So in this next plenary session, we're going to have Helen Mountford sharing how we can truly decarbonize the shipping industry. Then the CEO of Florida Power and Light will expand on the challenges of bringing different technologies into the grid, uh, like ground-based solar and green hydrogen, uh, but why those challenges are essential for us to meet. Uh, Anthony uh, Lizerowitz of the Yale Program on Climate is going to show us some takeaways from the incredibly fascinating recent data uh, that he has analyzed about what America really thinks about climate change and how we can reach everybody. After that, uh, Barton Siever, chef extraordinaire, and Jennifer Morrison, CEO of the Nature Conservancy, will talk about our relationship with the ocean that feeds us. And finally, uh, we'll hear from some of our country's leading environmental justice experts on why the climate movement must protect the planet, and of course, all of us as well. Thank you very much, and enjoy. Enjoy.